Hi everyone. I wanted to come on today and share with you how I put together the base for this flip-flop journal. Um, when I showed the last couple that I had made, I had some questions about um, how I put them together, how I added signatures and so on. And honestly, as I was kind of sorting out how to do this, I, w I watched a few videos and honestly found them to be very confusing. Uh, so I really wanted to come on and show you how I did it, um, to show you something that's simple, easy to follow, easy to understand so that you can, uh, you can make one as well. So before I start, I just want to apologize for the state of my hands. It is spring here, so I've been in the garden and I've got a blister and I've got a scrape, so I hope that's not too distracting for you. Anyway, let's get started. Um, let me show you how I put this together. So I used three large envelopes and one small envelope. You, These are new envelopes, of course, um, as you can see, but you can use uh, ma um, mailers if you want, prefer to do that. You can use any size of envelope. You could make some really interesting uh, types of journals, I think, and depending on what size of uh, envelope you use. This is really just uh, kind of a traveler's notebook size um, made from these envelopes. So the first thing you need to do um, is take the small envelope and one large envelope. The large envelope is completely intact. I folded in the flap like this to make a pocket and then the small envelope gets attached to the back of this in this way. Now I've offset it because I don't like it. I don't want it right in the middle. I want it offset just a little bit. And the other thing that you'll you'll need to make sure that you do is don't um, go over the fold line. So just attach it, uh, just butt it up to the to the fold line so it folds easily. Um, I should say I'm just using for purposes of, uh, uh, for, for purposes of this just the self adhesive. Um, but normally I would use like a Faber Tac. Um, and I would use Fabri-Tac because it's solvent based uh, and it won't warp your paper. But of course you could use any glue that you wanted to, uh, a glue stick, double-sided tape, um, art glitter glue, whatever, whatever you prefer to use um, for that. Um, so you've got your first two envelopes put together. Then for the other two large envelopes, I have cut them both top and bottom so that they open out fully like this. And this next envelope is going to be attached to the back of this large envelope, just like this. Again, just butting it up to the fold line. Okay. So you've got small envelope, envelope that's put together and made a pocket, envelope that is opened up, and I'm going to fold it like this. So I'm folding that up like that. With this one, again, it's fully open, and I'm going to Bat it up again. Sorry if I've got my head in the way there. I apologize for that if I did. Um, I'm going to butt it up uh, to that um, the fold line there. So what we have then is the small envelope, the intact large envelope, then I've got an opened out envelope, and another opened out envelope. And you can see how that's folded. Let me show you that again, okay? So between this large envelope with the pocket and this opened out envelope, you fold it up like that. Between this opened out envelope and this opened out envelope, again, fold it up like that and then that's your back. Okay, 
So let's do a little side by side um, so that you can see um, how this worked. Now with this one, I cut the top and bottom of the, of the small envelope so it flips out. So that's this envelope and I cut the top and the bottom so that it flips out. You of course can do, maybe you just wanna leave it like that. You have a front image and a back image, but you could also just cut here so that you had a side um, um, uh, tuck, or you could um, cut just the top so that you have a top tuck as well. So that's this. Then the signature that you see here, that signature is inserted here. So let me just get a piece of paper. So I've sewn it in here. So right in that seam of the small envelope. Then this pocket is this. So you can see here I've added a small pocket to the bottom. I've got some inserts. And then on this portion, I've just got this bit of kind of paper trim. And then I've got this insert. When you flip it over, so you can see here, I've got a pocket here. So that's the pocket here. And then again, here in the seam, or the I guess the valley, <laughs> this is where I've, I've sewn in the signature. And that's this signature here. And then on the back here, I've got another pocket. So I've got a pocket, a pocket, and then I've sewn my signature in here. And I've just done a really simple three hole pamphlet stitch. I, I think you can probably see it here. And then you flip it over here to this um, page. You can see I have uh, a top tuck spot here, which goes here. Then I've got the signature here, so it is sewn in here. And then on the back, I've got just the small tuck spot, which goes here. Okay, so top tuck spot here, pocket here, signature sewn in here. Then you flip to the back, so you can see the back here. This is the back. Flip it open. And here, this is this pocket. Then I've got another signature here that I've sewn in here right into that valley there and on the back I've got this notepad and that's where that goes here notepad so here's a pocket here's the notepad and then in this seam you can see here is where that signature gets sewn in flipping it over again I've got uh, a doily pocket here and on the back, I've got an angled pocket, so that's here. And then this signature gets sewn in here, okay? Sewn in right there, like that. So I've got doily pocket, angled pocket, signature sewn in here. And then it just flips back to the front. So that's it. That It's as simple as that, honestly, once you get the base, once you figure out how to do the base, and that was the big thing for me, um, was figuring it out um, just based on what I had seen. Um, so um, I hope this was easy to understand for you. I hope you'll give it a try. Let me know if you thought that this was a, an easy to understand um, a little how-to, um, because that's really what I wanted it to be for you, just just uh, something really simple to follow so that you can create one yourself. Um, and if you make one, please let me know if you make one and uh, send me a link because I'd, I'd love to see yours. So thanks everyone for joining me and I will see you again soon.